Hi guys, Mr. Offawfuls here. Many moons ago, I started a series called There's Gotta Be More, in which I sit down and basically talk about the things in the zombie storyline and the zombies mode in general that thus far have gone unexplained. They are mysteries to this day. Today, I'm bringing it back with an episode four, and this time, we're talking about something that I love. I just love the complete enigma that is today's topic, okay? So buckle up, drop a preemptive strike on the video with a like button, and without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna put an image on screen right now of something that I think many of you will recognize from before Black Ops 3 came out. Here it is. It's a poster that was a pre-order incentive for Black Ops 3 if you pre-ordered through various retailers in the United States and things like that. Essentially, you've got this rather interesting looking zombie on here, holding this really interesting card, and the caption amongst the Chicago city in there as well is, Only the Cursed Survive. Now, from this, seeing as we still had very little information about the game, the community jumped in and found out that it was the skyline of Chicago, and the, that was probably the vibe that they were going to be going for with that Shadows of Evil map, and then they really did double down on that, and they had the Lovecraftian influence as well, and it was really interesting, but just from the poster alone, the community sort of... Uh, gleaned a lot of details about the approach that Treyarch were going to be taking in their on-disc map. On the zombies on-disc map, in fact. The only the cursed survive sentence, though, was a bit mysterious. And, in fact, just generally the whole poster generated a lot of discussion about the idea of uh, maybe it's Hudson there. Maybe he's a playable character now as a zombie. Maybe this is someone we've never seen before but is still a playable character. Maybe it's a new type of boss zombie. Like, there was all sorts of speculation going around surrounding this poster. Now, Shadows of Evil came out, and we got a little bit more of an idea of why exactly this poster was designed as it was. The symbol on there was the Apothecon symbol for Beast, or Shuboff, as I believe the translation is, and that was definitely a big, impactful theme throughout all of Shadows of Evil, and you then obviously have things like playing in with what the Shadow Man says, You are cursed! Place your hand upon the stone, and all sorts of things like that. You've got the fact that two of the ciphers in the map, which are actually the same cipher, doubled up, and that's an episode of There's Gotta Be More in itself, like, oh my goodness me. But two of those ciphers used the Only the Cursed Survive phrase in their solution. So it's been worked in there as well. It wasn't just a one-off thing that they never said again. It was worked into the map in various different places. But then, Der Eisendrache came out, and then Zetsubo came out, and then Garod came out, and throughout all of those maps, which was a long time as well, that's like a, a good sort of six, seven months period, there was pretty much no mention of it. Only the Cursed Survive just kind of disappeared, and that poster certainly completely fell out of favour, I suppose, with the community. No one was really focusing on it because we had so much else to be looking at. And then Revelations came out, and we got a really interesting quote from Cheerboy Richterfen. And it's something that I think a fair few people picked up on at the time and were like, oh, that's really interesting. I'll read you the quote now. It says, uh, it's Richterfen quote when he's papping, by the way. Curses come in many forms. I keep mine hidden. I learned long ago that sometimes only the cursed survive. Now, when I first heard this, I was like, I'm shook. I'm fully shook right now. Like, I was so happy to see them return to that phrase and give us a little bit more to work with in trying to really understand why it was even really relevant in the first place. Like, sure, the characters in Shadows survive and they're cursed and uh, that whole thing's going on with the Shadow Man, but to be quite honest with you, the situation we interpreted in Shadows when that map released wasn't really the true actuality of what was going on in that map. Like, there was a lot of development that happened with the Shadow Man, for example, specifically, in fact, and just the Apothecons in general, that we really didn't have enough information to fully flesh out back during Shadows, and so stuff like the, you are marked, you are cursed, like, all of that business was just kind of almost a gimmick at the time. Like, it was something that was just there for the sake of the in-game mechanics. 
But as Black Ops 3's gone on and we get quotes like this saying, Curses come in many forms, I keep mine hidden, I learned long ago that sometimes only the curse survive, and we got all of the quotes with both Monty and the Shadow Man in Revelations giving us a bit of a window into what exactly that whole world is all about, and now we have the timeline, which is a big old blob of swirly-whirly knowledge that's just so good to read through, and so useful to get an idea of what's really been going on this whole time. And yet, I feel like, if we look back at the goddamn poster, we take one look at it, and if I brought that to a random member of the community today and said, explain this, they'd be bamboozled. They would not really know what to say. Because, uh, sure, it's an artist's impression of Shadows of Evil, you could argue, or whatever, but I feel like just that poster alone, just the nature of the way the thing is drawn up with the card and everything, really makes me feel, the zombie itself as well, makes me feel like, in conjunction with the Revelations tease, that curses come in many forms, and Richterfen keeps his hidden. He learned long ago that sometimes only the cursed survive. What is he referring to there? What does it all mean? And when are we going to get more on this damn topic, if ever? I feel like there's got to be more. I'd certainly love for there to be. I think that it would be really boring if this ended up just being a quote about... Richterfen having already gone to Shadows and seeing those characters who were cursed, and so he's like, he's sort of saying like, yeah, so only the Shadows of Evil characters survive. Like, surely that's too boring. I just feel like there's got to be more here. I feel like there's going to be some kind of a secret, really, really clever through line that Craig Houston dreamed up in like 2006, that he's going to be working in here, and it's going to completely blow us all away when it happens and when it comes to fruition and uh, when it becomes apparent. Like, I've just got a good feeling about this. I don't know why. And that goddamn poster, I love it. It's beautiful. I wish I had like a full-size version of it. I don't have that poster. But man, I wonder. I hope we get an answer to it sometime. I hope we get more info sometime even. Like, not really an answer per se. That's probably the wrong word to be using here. I just want more. I want to know more about all these curses and all that business, and, I mean, the links to Mob, seriously. There are so many subtle hints to Mob throughout Black Ops 3, there are some very overt ones as well, but there are some seriously subtle hints, and uh, it just makes me feel like, alongside everything Jason has said about him knowing what his plan is for Mob, and uh, having kind of something up his sleeve there, just... Ah, there's got to be more. There just has to be. So, folks, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on all of this. I'm very curious, but then again, I'm very curious about so much in the zombie storyline right now. Like, seriously, we could have a, a seriously long conversation about Treyarch using the words Japanese territory instead of being more specific. We could have a, a seriously long conversation about... Uh, an unknown mountain range. We could have such a long discussion about so many topics like that, like single words that they use, let alone something that is a, I mean, a theme itself, the only the curse survive theme. Like, man, there's so much that I'm interested in right now in the story. And I'm looking forward to asking you guys whereabouts the more is in the rest of the episodes in this series because there's got to be more. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Man, there's got to be more.